Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to install a Google font in your Squarespace website and how to use that font in your own custom CSS. Now at the time of recording this, the entire Google font database is available in the site styles menu. But if you want to assign a custom Google font to an individual item in Squarespace that you can't assign a font to in the site styles menu, like a list item description, for example, for that you'll need custom CSS. And that's exactly what I'll teach you in this tutorial. Now, without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen and show you how to set this up step by super simple step. Let's get started. We'll start this tutorial at fonts.google.com. If you know the name of the font that you're looking for, you can search for it here at the top or you can click on these filters and narrow down your options by different classifications and other options here. You can also type in some custom text if you want to see a preview of what this font looks like for the specific characters you want to use. I'll go ahead and click on handwriting and we'll grab this font right here, Pacifico. When I click on a font, we'll be taken to a page that has more information about this font. Over here on the right hand side, next to this font example, you'll see an option that says select and then it'll say regular 400 or some other option there. This can change depending upon the font variants available. But when you see this option with the blue plus sign in a circle, I want you to click on that. That is going to open up the selected family on the right hand side. Now, if this doesn't pop up, don't worry. Click on this bag icon and you'll be taken to that same option. Here, we're going to select import. This is the code we'll be adding to Squarespace. I'm going to copy this code and I'll open up my Squarespace website. We'll navigate to Website and then select Website Tools. From here, we can select Custom CSS. This is where we're going to paste that code that we just got from Google, but we need to make some changes. One of the first things we're going to do is remove these style brackets. The only thing in the CSS file is CSS, so we don't need to label it. So your code will start with at important and it will end with a semicolon. Then there's one other super important thing we need to do where it says CSS to question mark. I want you to remove the number two. That's how you can get this Google font to work inside a Squarespace website. You need to remove the number two. So it'll read at import URL HTTPS fonts.googleapis.com forward slash CSS question mark. Okay, awesome. So we've gone to fonts.google.com and selected one. We've copied the import link. We added it to Squarespace. Now we need to assign the font to content. You can either use a selector or you can use a block ID with an asterisk. This is a good time to mention if you're brand new to CSS, I have a free training on the basics so you can learn about things like selectors and blocks. It's available at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn and I'll link to it in the description below. But back to this tutorial, let's say you've got the selector for the list item title, which is my example right here. What I want you to do is enter a new line, add the selector, and you'll notice we're getting a syntax error here because we're not done typing our code yet. That's totally okay. We've added the selector. We're gonna hop back into Google Fonts and we're gonna grab this second part of the code. Back here in Squarespace, we'll open up a curly bracket and paste what we just copied from Google. And now the list item content title has the custom font assigned to it. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's say you have an individual block of content and that's what you want to change. You can use the block ID followed by an asterisk or the proper selector. Let me show you what I mean. I've got a block of content here that has three different text types in it. I'm going to grab the block ID using a free Chrome extension that I love to use, not affiliated, just a fan, and it is linked in the description below. I'll copy this block ID. We'll turn off that extension. I'm going to paste it here at the very beginning of line two, and you'll notice the only thing that changes is the paragraph text. Nothing else changed. If I want all the text in this content block to change, I need to add an asterisk. Then all of it will update. But let's say all I want to change is the heading one. I can use the block ID and then say H1 and just the heading one in just that block of content is going to change. Same for H3. And again, an asterisk will change all of the font families for any type of text in that specific content block. After you've added whatever you'd like to change on your Squarespace website, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, I've outlined all of the steps that we went through and included links to related resources that I know you're going to love. So definitely check those out. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. 
I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.